What's up guys, Jason Massey here and welcome to a new Confederations Cup squad builder and today we're we'll becoming the first semi-final which is Brazil, the host versus Uruguay and uh, remember as always if you're looking for home team coins go check out FIFCoinsline.com at their Facebook link will be below in the description go drop that a like and as always again uh, if you want to like this video it would be absolutely awesome and uh, tomorrow's video will be Spain versus Italy uh, which is the other semi-final of course we we'll get straight into things though and they've gone with a 3-5-2 as it was easier to fit the more but more of an even spread of players in. Uh, the goalkeeper is going to be Brazilian, and that is going to be Julio Cesar. A uh, very good goalkeeper. Um, I'm probably going to go through these players quite quickly, as I'm going to do this part, and then I'm going to do two um, two of the like, main games I played uh, at the very end. So Julio Cesar is a goalkeeper, 78,000 coins, and uh, I, you've probably heard my opinions in before. Very, very good player. The first centre back is going to be another Brazilian, and that is the second form Thiago Silva. Asked on Twitter whether I should get him or his Tina season card, and the majority said that uh, said save 400k and just get his uh, second in form. Um, I do want to try his blue in the future. If they get to the final, I'll definitely fork out and get the best team possible. But he cost me 390k, uh, so it does cost a fair bit. Plays for PSG, of course. And uh, the final Brazilian's uh, defender, at least, is going to be David Luiz. And uh, these two do start as the back at, oh, at the back for Brazil. And David Luiz, everyone knows how good he is. He's just an absolute overpowered beast. And uh, I think I'm going to go through all the Brazilians first, actually. It might be a bit easier. Um, the first one, though, is going to be a CDM, and that is Paulinho. Um, this guy is linked to Tottenham in real life, and on this game, he is very, very good. Has got a high attacking work rate, though, which is unfortunate, as a sent defensive mid. 87k, that is because he was one of the first in forms actually released. Actually, no, he was released in November, so he isn't that, that long ago, to be fair. Uh, but his stats are all round and a very good player. Of course, you could get a, uh, a cheap alternative just by getting his normal card. Going into that side, though, and another player that is in the Brazilian squad, and uh, this is going to be, where is he there? Gene. Um, this guy, is, like I said, is in the Brazil national team for the Confederations Cup. Uh, he has, I don't think he's played yet, but um, I needed a Br um, Brazilian uh, Liga de Brazil CDM, and I think he's one of the only ones. The right midfielder is going to be Hulk, and everyone knows how good this guy is. Um, I... Oh, actually, I don't know. I wouldn't say he's that good on FIFA. Uh, he's been quite poor, for, in my opinion, uh, in real life for uh, Brazil in the Confederations Cup. But he's still playing we, um, we, like, every game. And he's an absolute tank, though. That's probably the reason they play him. And um, I think that concludes the rest of the, uh, all the Brazilians. Yeah, it does. Let's get on to Uruguay. And we've worked with the uh, six Brazilians, five Uruguayans. And uh, Uruguay, there we go. The first centre back, then, is going to be Godin. He is uh, one of their main defenders. And... Uh, for me, he's not actually that bad on FIFA. He doesn't seem so. And he's got good defending and heading on him as well. Pretty pretty decent and solid player. The left midfielder is someone I've never used before. And that is Rodriguez. He also gets the straight uh, 9 chem link with uh, Godin. But he is um, he's a decent player. He gets, uh, gets in the right place at the right time. Good passing as well. And uh, he's got some nice well-rounded stats there for a non-rare. The cam is one of my favourite players I've ever used. And this isn't even an over-exaggeration. That is going to be the man of the match for Lan. Oh my god, this guy is a tank. Eight goals in four games. Uh, 160,000 coins. Five-star weak foot. Three-star skills. He may, his pace doesn't really matter in this position. It's his shooting. is absolutely unbelievable. Um, you see the clips at the end. And then we go to another man of the match card. And that is Hernandez. Hernandez for me was not that good. 100,000 coins. And he didn't feel 90 pace at all. Uh, his finishing was pretty poor. And, I don't know, I prefer the guy next to him, which is going to be Luis Suarez. And uh, Suarez, for me, very, very good finisher, very good at dribbling. And 9,000 coins convert up to striker. I'll take him any day of the week over Hernandez. Um, so, guys, I'll go through the bench quickly. Uh, there's some quick players. Um, they're all in the team, oh, all in the squad, remember. But I'm going to be back in a second where I go on to the gameplay. I'm not bad, guys. As you can see on the screen, there is the first team we come against, which is a very, very sweaty uh, hybrid, that is. And uh, Hull comes quite close there with his weak foot. But Wellington, there's pretty much no stopping him. Uh, he goes through and cheekily finishes that. Not sure what the goalkeeper was doing, though, as he was kind of letting him like shoot in that area. Uh, but we do respond quite uh, quickly with a Hulk finish there. A uh, good bit of play from Hernandez. And I think that was Gene playing the final ball through. And that's one of the like, things I fuck up too much on FIFA. Uh, I did the goal kick short to a... The CDM that I had was very, very t uh, a small player, which was Gene. And they won the header and went through. But Forland does quickly get in on the act and score an equaliser. And David Luiz, very, very good towering header that one. Uh, pretty impressed by that one. Getting above the other defender. Um, and the ball comes back to David Luiz a few minutes later. Good bit of feet, uh, or quick feet in the area. And he slots at home nicely. Two goals for David Luiz then. And that is a 4-2 victory. Um, a pretty good result uh, for our first ever game of this team. 
the second match though, he worked against a, uh, it's a, I'd say it's an average Premier League team. Um, and Forlan whips his free kick in, 9 minutes in, and he gets himself a goal. Pretty, uh, pretty uh, tidy free kick that uh, Minile, poor goalkeeper though from him. Um, like I said, this team wasn't the greatest or most strong uh, because I believe he had a pace card on Johnny Evans, but he had like Graham Dorans and such. But look at this for a strike by Forlan. That is the type of stuff he does. He His shooting is unbelievable. If you get a bit of room with him, like that's the, I, I don't know if that's outside of the foot or not, but it's still a great, great finish. And uh, he, I thought he'd be very like poor, but for me, he is absolutely quality. Uh, Graham Dorans, though, as I was mocking him, does get a goal. And uh, we come really unlucky here with uh, Paulinho, the long shot. Hit the post. And uh, Daniel Sturridge, like, like Wellington, there's no stopping him when he goes through one-on-one. -on -one. And he sorts out past my on-rushing Julio Cesar. Um, good bit of feet here, though, from Luis Suarez. Cuts inside and smashes that into the bottom corner. Uh, I was going to use his team in season card, but I, th I think I've used him like two out of three squads now, and it is quite pointless. Forlan coming close there with a long shot. And uh, like I said, his long shots and his finishing close range are absolutely unbelievable. Oxford Chamberlain does get a header in, though, and that is 3-2 to him. And uh, shortly after, he makes it 4-2. With a rebound off the post, Dembele getting on, in on the action. But then uh, a great, great ball here from Godin. A nice fake shot from Hernandez and a tidy finish underneath the goalkeeper. Makes that uh, three apiece, I think, or four apiece. Um, so we get, did get quite lucky there. But nevertheless, guys, that is the end of the video. If you could drop a like in the video, that would be awesome. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.